Hola, muchas gracias por acompañarnos en esta 36 sexta edición del Festival Internacional de Cine de Mar del Plata y en esta oportunidad esta conversación con Vadim Kostro, director de Orfeus, película que integra la competencia Estados Alterados. Hola Vadim. Hi Paulina, I'm fine, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Now in Moscow and preparing to the flight to Lisbon. Kind of it. Bueno, muchas gracias por conectarte y por brindarnos esta conversación. En esta oportunidad vamos a hablar sobre Orfeus, pero ha sido un año muy prolífico para vos. Eh, estamos al tanto, vimos otras películas tuyas eh, que salieron en, simultáneamente un poco con algunos pequeños meses de diferencia a la luz. Y mmm, no sé si las pensás un poco como una trilogía, estoy hablando de, de Summer y Invierno, Verano en este caso, ¿no? En este. En, en español, y Orfeus, eh, eh, que bueno, tal vez está bueno para los espectadores de aquí de nuestro festival, será la puerta de entrada un poco a tus películas que espero que pronto puedan ver, eh, no necesariamente una continuación temática, ¿no? pero algo se intuye cercano en, en, en todas estas películas, un poco como, como si la materia fueran recuerdos tuyos que están vivos y se manifiestan tal vez en en esta forma cinematográfica que tal vez está más cercana a la ficción. Entonces me interesaba un poco una pregunta como un poco de rigor, que es como que te impulsó un poco a hacer estas películas, o de dónde nacen estas películas. Si yeah, you're talking about uh, Orpheus, uh, it starts from the kind of uncertain point of my life about in the in the summer uh, 2019 uh, 2019 uh, I, were, i was sitting in moscow and i didn't know what to do and then i just uh, closed my eyes and asked uh, oh god what should what should i do next what will be next and there i realized that um, Uh, and, and saw uh, the, the frame, the picture of uh, of uh, uh, kind of, of Anya. You saw it in the film, uh, and realized that she's um, in kind of jail, in kind of in kind of this this stuff, in kind of prison. I mean, mental prison or something. And I saw. And I saw first frame uh, from you can see exactly this frame from the film uh, where she's sitting in a calm place uh, and the sun comes through the window and this is worse about the start and I realized that I can help her and can help to myself to know to to know what to do to know to to understand what what will be next just uh, and, and i can help her to go out from this prison uh by by the making the film uh the way making of film it's kind of a method of uh it's kind of liberation liberation it was a first it was a first uh feeling it was first uh, steps kind of it I uh, wrote some few strokes, some few some few points uh, of this film, and then I came, and I didn't know so many things that will will be happen. I I didn't know so many things about Danny, and and we are starting to to do this film, to making this film, started to talk. And I started to to understand something, to you know, it's kind of uh, making this films kind of uh, going with the flow of the life and making um, reflection in the real time. It's kind of a try of real time reflection, Re uh, reflecting on our, our own lives in real time, kind of it. And but exactly it's be, begun more and, and now you, you can say that it is more than just 
a film about uh, help only Anya or kind of it and it's about it's about uh, liberation itself with manifestations of the people the yacht people the young people in far away in Nizhny Tegel it's my hometown um, you know which needs needs to be to be seen they need to be seen to be to be you know alive in the cinema to be heard it needs to be heard uh, and it's this we can talk about all the people in this film and it's about this this help them them to be to be seen to be heard to be to be finally out of the of the jail is kind of it yeah but this is in the start it was like this it was uh, i was sitting in moscow and then i just came uh, came in tegel with a small small camera just one microphone and uh, one free pot and it's it i haven't anything the film uh, the filming process it was everything i had in those days everything i haven't anything even i couldn't think about the future i just was kind of kind of afraid about the future it's kind of uh, it's kind of, then this film was for me the place the time for sitting the calm before before the future, before the future comes and everything will change. And it's exactly bordering my life between uh, first part of yacht or childhood or kind of it. And then nowadays, uh, adult's life, you know, kind of it in other life, other life anyway. Yeah, what about other films? I, I wouldn't say that this is trilogy. Uh, because now I'm making uh, our films, it's staying opposite of the summer and the winter. Yeah, and now I'm just uh, finished finished filming autumn, our third film. And the seasons, uh, this is uh, tetralogy, it's uh, four films. This is uh, kind of uh, f films from one world, from one material. It's kind of different materials, but it's kind of material of my autobiography of, of, of my life in a way. But it's a, 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 reg a look, it's one look to the past. But Orpheus, it's uh, kind of uh, making real time reflection, no, n not looking to past, to the past. It's just film happens right now. You know, in the film, uh, happening what exactly happening in my life and the and in the lives of people in the frame, and that's and that's it. That's it. I think. Sí, no, eso que que un poco mencionas todo esto que mencionas un poco pienso que la respiración de la película tiene esta intención, ¿no? De retratar como el tiempo entero, como de una canción del inicio al final y y bueno, ¿cómo, ¿cómo hacer esto posible? Pienso que tal vez una de tus herramientas es pensar la escena como una unidad de tiempo y un poco lo que, lo que comentabas recién, ¿no? Como un cine del presente. Y que muchas veces también esa escena es una puesta en escena de la palabra, eh, una puesta en escena de la música. Y me, me interesaba un poco ya ahondar más en, en cómo pensaste más desde, desde el lado de la realización, desde, desde cómo trabajar estas escenas. Muchas veces... Eh, digamos, no, no hay cortes, eh, no, no, no pretendés de alguna forma eh, pensar una escena como una síntesis, ¿no? como mo mostrar un, una pequeña porción como para dar cuenta de, de, de algo que está sucediendo, sino eh, llevarlo tal vez a, al extremo, eh, como un poco vos decías, ¿no? de retratar el tiempo real, eh, si, si querés un poco eh, como ahondar un poco más en esto. Eh. Yeah, you mean... You mean there's long frames? Yeah, there is uh, many of it because Orpheus, you know, it's a, 
about saving the time, about the saving the piece of life, of a little, little tiny piece of life and I'm returning in the end of the summer and it's about saving the time, spending with the, also with Dania or uh, saving. It's about kind of uh, a gesture of humanity kind of it, more than cinematography. But it's still uh, cinematography. It's still uh, art, kind of, and and you know the scenes. Uh, for example, scenes with my cousin Pasha, where he's uh, playing on piano fifteen minutes. It's a place for him in this film. I just uh, put it him. I just let him uh, with his music to be heard. He's sitting there far away in Tegel, but you are in Argentina can hear him because of this film. And I just, I just don't want to 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 break uh, to um, to destroy. Uh, uh, their their voices, they complete uh, um, tasks. They complete. The film needed to be to be to be placed to be kind of kind of place for all these people to 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 manifest what they they really feeling what they want to say into the, to the world, kind of it. And and yeah, and it's about saving the time. It's my last uh, last uh, few minutes, minutes, hours with Anya, and I just feel in the presence into these frames. Just saving this presence. It's about presence into the time. It's about saving the piece of life, piece of time. And the music scenes, you know, it's kind of. Uh, emotional a kind of uh, intuitive i just uh, it's about uh, uh, power of art itself to make uh, liberation it's about uh, it's about through the music people people f people going going out from the jail for the music for these guys if from Lazy Comet gr music group, uh, Gosha in the, in the last scenes of the party, but you know uh, the the breath and flow of the film, making making all these feelings to be manifested. I'm just uh, making making uh, kind of situation, but it, this situation uh, it's really close to real situation in my own life. I just uh, a little, just uh, a little directed, because I just predict, uh, I just uh, thought about some situations that which will be happening, or that always happened when I came in Tegel. I, uh, I actually usually come into Tegel in the end of the summer. It's kind of it, but in these times, I realize that it to, that will be last time, and I just predict some situation. And make some uh, some plot, not no, some plot, some some uh, points in uh, script for them. I just thought about uh, some kind of aesthetical way of uh, of uh, of film it. Yeah, and it's uh, step by step. It's it's uh, it's come into the film. It's really close. It's maybe closest thing into the life. It's more than it's more than documentary in a way because our films is manifesting, manifesting the life itself. In into the film, people can live more, um, more powerful, more strongly uh, to uh, people more strongly in into the life you know in the pre in moment of the presence into the life um, it's kind of uh, the very process of filming 
helping to manifesting the life, manifesting feelings, manifesting everything and making uh, everything um, kind of understandable or, re or reflected uh, or uh, uh, not unknown, it's kind of known. Uh, and also, you know, so it's kind of uh, living in the positive, not in negative. I mean, film negative when people living uh, just most of their lives in a kind of blindness, they didn't under they don't understand what they actually do in their life, how they actually live, and just living in a blindness. But very situation of the film for the uh, uh, certain certain situation. I, I just made uh, the scenes uh, the scenes uh, with the certain situation of uh, people's life. For example, scenes with my uh, grand grandpa. Uh, in the in the in, in the film, you can see exactly his. Uh, his rituals, his his daily routine, he really get used to, came to this flat and making things like that. But when we making it into the film, when we when we are filming it, he can he can um, just stay just just left it, just left it into the past. These rituals, this kind of uh, he can he couldn't. Uh, he couldn't go go move forward, and after this filming, after her fails, he he stopped to go into this flat. He became he became free, free from this, from this. Uh, you, you know, it's kind of my uh, personal situation because my great grandma was dead uh, in 2016, and since this time, uh, my grand grandpa he is in the film um he just uh, married so so fast and so on so on and he was in kind of uh, in kind of in kind of feeling of guilt in kind of feeling guilty and after this film after this film he just this is just Felt, felt finally felt some kind of freedom from it it's about yeah it's you know i just mean that a very filming process uh, um helps to manifest all these feelings and all these uh, cries and all these and actually i made all the film it's about just for a scene in the party just to let let this all these voices to be heard in a loud just to be uh, it's about this moment of exactly this moment of li liberation of uh, this real feeling this real patience kind of yeah and for anya it's kind of you know this situation i just uh, and this party it's kind of my birthday party because it's uh just in the day after my twenty uh, ones uh, birthday, <laughs> yeah, and people just came came to this. Just people who I I know, who knows me and I know I know them, and but we but but I bring also Gosha uh, guitarist Shamil bass guitarist and. Uh, these guys just to 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 make to make these scenes hurt to make to manifest it all this to don't live in the blindness to make to make this all manifested and all flow of the film just slightly going to be help to to go into the from this jail. You know the first scene, Sunny. It's uh, it's kind of uh, she 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 can't she can actually 
speak aloud, he can actually cry. But in the in the last scenes, she she got this for a for maybe for a little, a really little little piece of time. But this is piece of time is is kind of in Orpheus when when he brought uh, uh, brought every this from the from the from the death into there and all this film it's kind of a uh, return of of Orpheus you know I'm just w watching it and my all this filming all this film is kind of returning I'm just returning back it's about uh, one hour 56 minutes I'm returning back and and all this past is disappeared kind of for the last time the very filming making it Making it, you know, just make it, making the point, making the border that uh, that all these exactly uh, it's without any depths, without any any other return going to the to the past. But I did uh, what I could. I tried my I've tried my best and tried to help all these guys. All these guys. To be to be heard, to be seen, to help Anya, to help me, to help myself exactly, exactly to help myself. Yeah, it's kind of kind of this personal and and in the same time common thing about Ariad. Sorry for that long answer. I'm just I'm just trying to explain. How it how it was how it was did I did I answer to your question have I sí por supuesto y bueno y también nos brindaste un montón de ideas más alrededor de la película algo que digamos desde el primer momento de verla era bueno imaginar cómo era este este vínculo no con la figura de Orfeo este músico al que los hombres se acercaban un poco para descansar sus almas no que calmaba las fieras entonces pensaba, bueno, como, como esto un poco que, que retratas, ¿no? Como, como ese lugar también de, de conexión que, que propicia la música, ¿no? También como la consigo con uno mismo, con una misma, y, y también con, con los demás, ¿no? Como, como esa comunidad que se forma alrededor de, de la música. Me, me interesaba un poco algo ya, digamos, en relación a, a la biografía un poco de los personajes, su relación con la música, que, que comentaste también siempre como que... Eh, me, me da mucha curiosidad cómo, cómo son, digamos, eh, cómo la, la, la ciudad en sí, digamos, está bastante eh, fuera de la película, digamos, como eh, la película sucede como en espacios interiores eh, y de alguna forma en, la, en cierta intimidad y, y, a, y algunas veces vemos, vemos muy poquito como, como ese exterior y estos, estos lugares como que siempre forman parte como de una cultura más subterránea, ¿no? Eh, entonces... Eh, ya un poco que, que, que sale yeah. este tema, cómo, cómo fue tú, cómo, cómo de alguna forma pensaste en incluir como este, este lugar, digamos, que, que es tu ciudad natal, ¿no? Thank you for the question. Yeah, I can, I can say, I can say about it. Of course, yeah, our fails, it's kind of about really intimate, kind of really moments of present together. It's about saving these moments. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, the locations we, which I will shoot. I thought about uh, the first, uh, um, the you know, in the start of the film when Anya goes out from the from the house from the yeah going to the yard. I just wanted also to save it yard. And the ways are also going with, yeah, this places, this, you know, day of, uh, this is kind of uh, time of kind of calm. And she's having nothing to do with this. She's just sitting at the water. Uh, and that's it. 
Uh, what about underground stuff? Uh, in the film, you can see the Narodne Gallery, the place from my another film, uh, my documentary about uh, uh, artistic, uh, um, really artistic underground place um, gallery for the street artists, for some other artists and musicians uh, who came there just kind of really, really cool place. And there was my real screening of uh, uh, Loft Underground. It's my first uh, document, full aid documentary about Moscow's artistic uh, squads. Squads, yeah. Uh, it's about story of Moscow artistic squads, 80s, 90s, uh, nowadays. I was filming it in 2018. Yeah, um, it, that's real. That was real. The, I mean, the scene where people sitting in the, the garage and only a little, a little light um, of the of the of the screen on their on their faces. Yeah, but about yeah, I just thought about the mountain. I thought about the mountain. I thought about kind of that we will sit and talk on the mountain it's mountain it's kind of important thing and mythology thing mythological thing you know it's kind of a uh, connecting between myth kind of myth kind of aesthetical thing and a real uh flow of the life a real and honest talks and, and presence uh real people um in a real time, real young people, you know, it's kind of connection between just real life, there's this, uh, the beating of this life, the, the spirit, um, kind of all this, all this, and, and this aesthetical way to show it. You know, the scenes when Anya is alone, I just thought about it, like about um in actually in in future in future movies you know but we are filming in the real locations yeah we we are, it's kind of really near to to be documentary it's, it's kind of border it's really not not exist because you know i i thought that we will come to the mountain but I, I didn't give any words to Anya, just maybe one, I don't remember, just to just help her to, to, to ask. Yeah, I gave her first questions. Uh, that's it, that was how it was. I gave her first questions. I just helped her because she wanted to ask me, but she couldn't ask me. And I said, uh, you know, you are ask me, you said me the words, when, are you, when you will leave? when you will leave to Moscow. Yeah, that, that's how it was. And this, all these scenes help us to talk. And, and you can see the really little, of course, the, the city, the frames with the lights of the city, look of Tegel, of these uh, tube, tubes with the fire, tubes of the of the manufacturers yeah it's kind of also mythological but it's real and it's document and it's kind of real as document but it's unreal in the way as a myth you know the same the scenes when anya left from the from the left running from the bar into some darkness some darkness into the, some this some this reality yeah it's kind of uh, yeah it's kind of mythology mythological thing she kind of she's running into into some kind of hellish place and she don't know where she could run where she could came what she can find to have to to save herself yeah, it's kind of it but in this in the in the same time he just 
going for the real real location, real tegel and and so on so on but when we were filming it he, she just started to run i just uh, i can't real real i can't predict it predict she just started to run she just started to go out and i just continued to film it it was her real her feeling to do this and you know in a taxi we just get a real taxi and uh, all this i'm just showing a little the city from from the window of the taxi or window of the car yeah it's kind of it's kind of uh, get, it's kind of this plane of the lights it's about the lights you know all the all this about the lights you know in the first in the first uh, frames anya just uh, lying on the sun you know it's kind of last sun last uh, sunlight last last warm into in this summer she she just want to to feel last this last warm last light and and in other other scenes we can see that light is going out like there is not so many lights from the scene to scene you can see the lights going out and only in the the last 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 when the where the people go into the manufacturer we can see the sun also yeah yeah it's it's uh, also important the last 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 spray where the people in the morning go into the manufacturer go into the uh always you VZ, it's it's a manufacturer which making tanks, making wagons. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of this uh, iron stuff, but more of these tanks, wagons. Yeah, it's and people just go in there and sun comes, but it's something in a something different sense, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm showing it. Like you know, like a one can can be happen with this yacht, with this yacht energy, with this yacht spirit in the future. They just can become predictable, become these workers, become uh, or stay like like they 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 do, but go into the manufacturing. You no. Know? Now, a, f a few of my friends uh, and also my second uh, camera cameraman uh, operator Art and friend Artem Nilov, he's working on this manufacturing. Now he is working exactly in a place where just making tanks. Yeah, that's true. And it's about it's about all this and the the bus also showing us the city showing us this uh, manufacturing uh, landscapes of course it's uh, bringing us into a kind of dramaturgy of the, of the reality of being into into the city uh, like tegel and i wanted to show it I wanted to manifest it all this day daily the day, daily stuff and you know the bar uh, it's kind of, it's it's also a real bar yeah and everything there is not so many not so many places yeah you you're right that everything uh, happens in the in the fr in the flat in this flat you know this is place of for calm the flat is a place for calm. You know the epigraph here. Yeah? Come to me, O that yeah, that labor and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. And this flat is a place for rest, for having calm, for Anya, for Grandpa, for Pasha, for all these guys in final scene. Yeah, the, something, some place to manifest their feelings, to to get a calm, to get free. Oh, sorry for that long, also. That's it.
No, no, me parece muy, muy valioso todo lo que contás, muy generoso también. Digo, a veces hay algunas cosas que algunos prefieren guardárselas, no, digamos, como estos procesos tan, tan íntimos de, de, de cómo pensar una película. Por último, nada, me interesaba también eh, saber de curiosidad un poco que si hay algunas películas que te acompañaron, que te abrazaron al, al pensar Orfeo, si te sentís cercano, digamos, tal vez a, a algún, algún director, directora de, de, de tu país o alguna corriente o algo que, que de alguna forma te, te parezca como, como eso, cierta cercanía o cierta afinidad estética eh, dentro del cine contemporáneo, no sé. Eh, o del cine mundial, digamos, o del cine, de la historia del cine, no sé, eh, un poco de qué bebe un poco Orfeo, más allá de todo esto que no es poco, digamos, uh -huh. de todo esto que, que es lo, lo, lo que te rodea un poco y, y lo, lo, lo que tenés más a mano, ¿no? Eh, pero, pero pensando un poco en esto, en, yeah. en, en el cine. You mean the films? Yeah. Uh, I remember... When I started uh, to make Orpheus, I was really, I get really deep impact uh, with the film of Sharunas Bartas, Three Days. I exactly remember that this. And also in the film, uh, in Orpheus, uh, we, can, we can hear and even we can see some kind of uh, frames for other films, uh, for exactly Uh, we can see the in the scene of the party the film uh, Freedom of Bartas. Uh, yeah, you know this Orpheus is kind of kind of uh, kind of little feeling, a kind of same same feeling that in three days, you know, three days. Where it's about you. I. I Uh, you watched it, I, I think. For days about, you know, this. You have only few, few time to. You don't know what to do. It's few time, and you're spending it and feeling it, and then it disappeared. It's about uh, vitality of yacht. It's about this. It's kind of when you are bleeding, when you are bleeding, this yacht blood you know when you are kind of into into this yeah three days it's got a deep impact on me and also some kind of uh, early part of films and also in the in our films you can you can hear some film of sergey loznitsa it's kind of documentary about manufacturers Uh, I, I don't remember the name of the film, but there was the manufacturers about um, the uh, kind of uh, elements, elements, water, fire, kind of uh, earth, and and showing through this. And Anya in the first scenes watching this film. And this, in the second, when we seen, so watching the film with her, uh, we are we are watching first, first, uh, first scenes from uh, from Freedom of Bartas, from Freedom. Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, I wanted to show her another, also in other films, show Anya some kind of. Uh, other life and freedom itself you know in Bartas films it's kind of i can feel it i can feel this vitality with this freedom and i'm showing the freedom for anya and saying i think it's a good film kind of it and i say if you don't want we can we can we can not see It's, it's kind of, I'm talking about Orpheus, you know, Orpheus only starts, and I said already, <laughs> this is a good film, I think. And, but if you don't want, you can don't watch it. It's kind of intimate stuff, we kind of so <sighs> yeah. 
yeah, in this way. Yeah, it kind of really was matched with the with the performance of Gosha guys from Lazy Comet uh, music group when there uh, was when they were um, uh, singing the song that calls in last time. It was exactly in last time and goes in this vitality of Bartis in the frame behind just kind of make this connection kind of uh, I don't know uh, uh, un understandable but kind, but kind of connection with this vitality you know there is Gosha watching on the on the screen and and he can see uh, the seagulls seagulls and uh, and the uh, um, kind of and see uh, seagulls and seeing and the kind of the world opens to him, but only in a frame, you know, the world's open to him, to his eyes, just on the second when he's in guitar and he just watching into this, you know, the film itself works like this, the world into to you, to in the world of this film into to us. And for him, he just for a second, felt this uh, kind of vitality, kind of this in film Bartas, you know, it's kind of matched with his his own feeling, he what he was putting in the music. It just kind of, he finally saw, you know, but this kind of tragedy, but may, maybe that uh, this film, it's only one, only one place where he can, he can see this kind of, oh, uh, open with kind of opening the world for him it's kind of uh, liberation kind of freedom you know M maybe he will see the the sea never see the the sea side kind of it it's kind of kind of to be far 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 away far far away in the and this only only with his uh, his music, his art, and and here is a kind of window window in the in, the, in another world, and it matches with uh, with this vitality, this vitality, with this feeling of life uh, and presence, presence in this uh, kind of I told kind of bleeding kind of to be more sensitive on the maximum kind of kind of maximal presence maximal sense maximum feeling of the moment yeah yeah i think i think that's it i think i answered the question yeah <laughs> Bueno, Vadim, eh, muchas gracias por esta conversación, seguramente los espectadores que, que la puedan ver antes o después de, de la película estarán agradecidos también, eh, en nombre mío de parte de todo el festival, nuevamente muchas gracias por, por también eh, disponer de este tiempo, y bueno, nada, eso es todo. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure just to think about it one more time. <laughs>